feeling myself I'm looking so pretty uh, 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 uh. I'm looking so beautiful Welcome back to my channel. So it's another week and it's your girl Halima here. You know me. Yes, it's me Halima. So yeah, today I decided to create this nude, you know, glam summer look. Yes, so that's me. So I hope you guys like it. My skin is looking so glam, you know. It's all about the nude summer, you know. So you have to go with the nude and just feel yourself, feel the vibe, love yourself. You know look glam you know it's COVID, COVID season that we're in so all we got to do is make up sit at home and then just enjoy it just reminisce because once this is COVID is over it's back to normality it's back to work you know so just enjoy this moment and just you know go with the flow so yeah if you like this look and you want to you know watch how I created this nice glam nude look you don't need to go anywhere stay tuned for the rest of the video guys and girls you heard me right the nude look because it's summertime okay summertime we need that kind of natural looking uh, makeup as well as a bit of color you know so i decided today that i'm gonna go for a nude look okay i've not done a nude look before well i have done it before but not on youtube if you know what i mean okay so today i decided to give you guys this very nice diff different look okay so stay tuned and watch the rest of the video let's enjoy it together excuse me I've got I had a bit of pimples here they left a bit of mark they just came to say hello to me and I have to get rid of them I literally have to get rid of them so they've literally gone now they just left a bit of a nasty mark I hate them <laughs> so guys the makeup that I'm going to be using today is in EX1 invisible liquid foundation foundation my favorite and I'm gonna mix it up today with L'Oreal too much okay so those are the two colors that I'll be using okay so I'm first of all going to prime my skin yes I've already put my SPF 50 by Hello Care I've already put that on so it's, you know I have to protect myself from this UVA you know out there the sun can damage the skin so badly so I'm gonna put my studio prime by uh, Maybelline face studio prime by Maybelline so I'm gonna square a little bit of my face and massage it in okay something like that should be enough okay, okay. so I'm going to Massage that in. Perfect, guys. So now that my face is all primed nicely, I'm now going to go in with my foundation. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. I want to put a powder before I actually put, you know, the foundation. So hold on one minute. I'm gonna buff my face a little bit. With powder buff everywhere I just love um, doing my foundation with the powder on it really does give me a nice look I don't know if you guys have tried that yet but if you haven't please do try it because you're really really gonna love it you're gonna love the different it gives your makeup afterwards the you know the, the reflection it gives you so you guys should definitely I highly highly recommend that guys try that especially um when it's a hot time like this it's nice to put powder before your um foundation because it helps the foundation to last all day so you guys should definitely try this technique trust me you got you guys gonna really really like it so yeah go ahead and give it a try okay so yeah okay so i'm now going to go in with my foundation so give it a bit of a shake and I'm just gonna square a bit the back of my hand and then that's the ES one and then that's then I'm gonna square this L'Oreal too much sorry it's um I'm having this issue with the reflection of the sunlight 
okay so I am now going to buff it in my face I've put powder on my face and you, as you guys can see my face looks all nice and you know diffused okay so I bought this new brush oh, oh my god I bought this new real technique 200 you know foundation brush I bought one okay so I just I literally bought it um what was it was it last week and I'm so excited to use it yes so I did buy it so I'm gonna use it today I'm gonna put it to a test and see because there was a lot of hype but I saw it on the internet a lot of hype good reviews so I thought you know what let me give this brush a you know a go and see if it's gonna basically be what people are saying so hopefully it's gonna do its work so I'm going for a very light foundation today so I'm just putting my brush to test today mm, so far so good I like how it actually feels on the skin how do you like it compared to all the brushes that I've used? I actually like it. It's got this kind of sponginess feeling to it. Mmm. Right. I actually understand where the hype is all about, guys. You guys, you need to try this brush. Oh my god. It feels really, really, really nice on your skin. This is not marketing, guys. I actually bought this with my own pennies you know from boots so I can actually tell you guys how good it is if it wasn't good I would have sell you guys as well so so far I actually like it I like it I think it's well money well spent basically yeah definitely money well spent on the way didn't pull my head back today so this new look that I'm going for <laughs> I'm so excited really really I am excited to show you guys what it's fun to look oh I love this brush honestly I can't tell you how beautiful this brush is real techniques they're really doing some good brushes actually to be fair I love their beauty blender so this brush alone had a good review oh my god they had like literally like 3,000 review about this brush I was like wow so I thought let me just give it a try and honestly I can actually go back and add my review as well because it does look how it actually diffuses foundation on my face oh how amazing it is <laughs> okay guys so i'm now going to go with my concealer okay because i'm um, going to get this makeup done asap
Hi guys, so today I'm decided to use a brush for my um to bake. Um, so the bake that I'm using, as you guys can know, is my um, makeup obsession pure bake biscuit. So I'm just gonna dump a little bit in there, and I'm just gonna brush around my eye area, basically where I put the contour. something light today after all it's nude makeup so I'm not aiming to go like heavy on my face I want it as nude as possible Lately, I've been breaking out a lot. I don't know why. Um, I guess I've not been drinking. I've been, I've not been having uh, my green tea and not been taking a lot of fluid. Um, so yeah, it's really annoying. I had a horrible pimples down here. Yeah, literally, just came to say hello, and I had to get rid of them. Like, hi, you got to go now. You know, so annoying. But I got rid of them eventually. So, but yeah. I guess because we're at work I have to wear a mask and when you do wear that mask you don't tend to drink oft often as you could you know want so it's really costing me to break out so annoying so guys I've taken my big brush you know with the fluffy ends I actually bought this brush from a Chinese um, Alibaba yeah I bought it from them it's set it's, I love this brush it's so nice so just brushing it off now, brushing the, the bake. And I'm now going to go in with my ES1 um, pure mineral powder. Just gonna buff that all over my face and then continue with the you know the eyebrow and you know eyelashes and you know this whole concept hi guys so now i've put the powder on my face my loose powder i'm now going to do my eyeshadow so i'm gonna put transition powder uh, shadow on first and then um, we follow by the rest of the look okay so i'm gonna go with nude colors okay so the nude colors that i'm going for are these three colors down here if you guys can see it yeah okay guys so now that i've done with my putting my transition color i'm now going to go with the second color so the second color is basically the same for my sapphire palette so it's this So I'm just blending this third colour all over with two other colours to give it that shade, that kind of like, you know, nude look. I'm going to take a detail brush and I'm just going to blend some of the eyeshadow around my waterline. the nude um, look that I'm going for I'm now going to be going with my lip brush and brush this lip nude lip gloss on sorry I didn't show you guys what it is it's part of my uh, Sephora palette and it's this going with these two colors down here I'm mixing it up to give me just a nice shade
actually like this lip gloss. It's really nice. I like the it. lipstick. It's just a nice, different. Um, yeah, it gives you a nice look. I like how it reflects on my lips. The lip is all done. I'm now going to go and finish off the makeup. I'm going to put my blusher and highlighter and then lashes and that will be the end of my nude look okay so i'm just gonna go with a light flash just around here somewhere just feeling for a bit of a brush you know? <laughs> okay guys i'm going to put my Rel revolution highlighter I'm just brushing my face up now to make sure everything is well blending. So I'm going to put a mascara. So I'm using this um, Maybelline Great Blush. I'm gonna put that before I put my lashes on, okay? guys so now i'm going to finish my look with my one and only mac prep and prime okay okay i've got spray that all over and i'm just going to take my brush and my fan to dry that off and then that's the look of my nude Hi guys, so yes, this is my final look of the nude summer glow. So how do you guys like this? Nice? Yes, definitely. So basically, I just, just wanted to go for like a nude glam look. After all, it's, there's nothing else to do but to make up and sit at home and look good. And feel good. <laughs> So yeah, so this is my version of the nude look, nude glam look. I hope you guys like it. If you do like it, you know what you need to do. All you need to do is give it a thumb up, subscribe, hit the notification button so you get regular update from me. Leave a comment, like, share the video among your friends, and what else? I don't think there's anything else I want from you guys. I just want to be friends with you guys and that's it and that's it <laughs> you so you can watch me anytime you miss me you know yeah definitely so go for it and hit that subscribe button until next week 